Hey, welcome, Prime Time Squad. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the chat. Happy Saturday. At least I hope you are having a happy Saturday, having a great day, a great weekend so far, thus far. How's everybody doing? Holla at me in the chat. Feel free to hit me up in the chat. Um, let me know who's watching so I can know who's out there watching. Make sure you hit the like button and uh, share share the uh, chat to your social media platform. I'm up here just uh, cooking, chopping up some vegetables, vegetables right now. I'm cooking dinner early so I can relax the rest of the day. <laughs> but what's going on with everybody? I know y'all see the title of the chat, the title of the live video. You already know what we're going to be talking about. Hey, Raw Honesty. I just love that name. <laughs> raw Honest, Raw Honest Tea. I like that name. I just happened to be watching some videos um, this morning. I had got up real early this morning because I had um, I had a cake I had to make for a customer. Uh, most of y'all know I am a uh, personal, professional, custom cake decorator. And so I had to get up early this morning so I can make a cake for a customer. Um, and then after that... I was like, sure, I might as well just start dinner. And I figured I'd watch a little YouTube while I was at it, while I was making my cake and prepping my dinner. <laughs> but um, let me show you real quick what I made this morning. If I can find it. Uh, let's see. I still be trying to learn my way around this, um, let's see, window capture, uh, okay, here we go, okay, that's what I made this morning, that's what I was working on early this morning, it is my famous Strawberry Crunch Shortcake Cheesecake. Don't it look yummy, y'all? That thing will have you in heaven. Like, for real. <laughs> oh, but yeah, that's, um, that's uh, what I was up doing this morning. You said, that looks delicious. Mail me one. How much? You know, I never mailed anything. I'll be, I'll be having people, everybody from Zills, Jay Wilson, all kind of people ask me to mail them some cake because they follow me on my, uh, my Facebook page called Tanya's Delights Slice by Slice. So they see all my uh, cake art and everything. I'm sorry if I'm looking down every now and then. I'm chopping some vegetables. But uh, a lot of people on YouTube also follow me on my uh, cake decorating page. But that cake right there is $45. I, I never mailed a cake before. Like I said, I keep saying I'm going to get into that. I just got to do some research because one thing I don't want to do is mailing stuff clear across the country and it not come, you know, it not show up the way it left my house. <laughs> so you know what I mean but I'm going to do some research into that because uh, I'm trying to make some things happen with my business uh, right now it's more of a hobby I usually just make cakes for friends and family and for birthdays and church and uh, nursing homes and I give away a lot of cakes I have a free cake contest every single month um, so I give away a lot of stuff right now. But, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Thank you. I will. 
after I get off this chat, I'm going to write your number down. And I will give you a call. And they'll be coming from a 402 area code. So if you see a 402 number, don't think it's uh <laughs> nobody uh, playing on the phone, no solicitators or anything like that. <laughs> It'll be me. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was checking out some some videos this morning and <sighs> po Tracy, po Tracy. I know a lot of people don't like Tracy. I know a lot of people don't like Tracy. And, and I know why, because I've been on YouTube long enough huh, and seen enough more than sometimes what I care to see. <laughs> but um, a lot of people don't like Tracy. Um, I was on Sean's live this morning because Tracy was getting dragged by... um. Oh, okay. Thank you, Miss Honesty. Miss Raw Honesty, thank you so much. Let me grab an onion. Tracy was um getting dragged through YouTube. Was it this morning? Yeah, it was this morning. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. See, the thing is, the thing is, it's like I named this uh I named this live nine lives of YouTube. It's like how much can one person take? Like how much can one person take? I understand what Tracy does. I understand what Tracy used to do. Well, I ain't gonna say I understand what she used to do, but I know what she used to do. And what she used to do was be on a lot of different people live chats and videos. And she used to cause a lot of commotion. I mean, let's keep it real. She used to cause a lot of commotion. A lot of people would be arguing back and forth with her. She would be arguing back and forth with her. You know, sometimes it was in defense of some of her favorite YouTubers. This was before she had her own YouTube channel. Um... This is before she had her old YouTube, her own YouTube channel. And Brother Jay Wilson used to always tell her, Tracy, you need to get your own channel because you have a lot to say. And you're usually saying it on a lot of other people's platforms. And a lot of people didn't like that. So I know where Tracy came from. And I know where I see where she is now. Tracy is a lot better. I mean, if you if you really was back there when she used to um, be on everybody's platform. And I'm not saying everybody, like some people be like, oh, you be everywhere. This person be everywhere. That person be everywhere. Like Sean Bradley said this morning, you wouldn't even know where people be all the time if you ain't there yourself. Like if you see somebody um, all the time somewhere out in your city, you wouldn't know where they always at if you ain't always there. In the club or wherever. She, at the crack house. At the whore house. At the bookie joint. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, but I'm like, how much dragon can one take? This morning, poor little Tracy. I know she's going to come back with a response to that video from Rob, But I understand what Narod was saying. I, I don't particularly agree with the dragging and all that. And I mean, just sometimes people go too far, but you know, you can't tell people what to do on their own platform. But I understand where Narod was coming from. It's like, okay, I have said, I always say, I follow a lot of people. A lot of people who follow me, I follow them. A lot of people who support me, I support them. Whether it's YouTube, Instagram, your Facebook business page, uh, uh, your, your business around locally around my city. I support a lot of my own people, restaurants, you know, beauticians, you know, because it's nice to receive support and you should show your appreciation by supporting other people. Who are out there in the game. Um, but one thing I don't do. Like some people running around here. I'm team this. I'm team that. 
like their favorite YouTubers. I'm team this. I'm team that. Like, the only team I'm on is Team Tanya. The only team you should always be on is your own team, the home team, my home. This right here, this my team. Me and my sons, well, they ain't all here today, but uh, <laughs> one of them is in there <coughs> on the video games. Another one is at work. But this is, this is, I ain't swinging no knife around like threatening folks. I'm chopping vegetables. But this right here, <laughs> this is Team Tanya. And that's the only team I'm going to be on. I might like you. I might follow you. I might subscribe to your channel. I might even shout you out. And I do that from time to time. I do that from time to time, especially those who promote my channel, like, People have been sharing my videos on their channel, like Michelle Atlian Brown, uh, Zero Tolerance. Um, I done had shout outs from all kinds of people. Lockhead, um, Boss Lady, Miss Gina. I mean, it's a lot of people who support my channel out there. Um, but as far as teams, you should always be on your own team. Why I say that? It's a lot of people out here that be flip-flopping. And if you pay attention, if you pay attention, you see who those people are easily. Like, easily. And I'm not talking about any of those people who I named. I'm just saying in general. You follow people and then, um, who was that who said on YouTube, uh, some people will subscribe to somebody be on their team, their team, per se, and, uh, here trying to cut the right side of the onion. <laughs> uh, I'll make a spaghetti, y'all. I'll make spaghetti and some, uh, chicken and I don't know what else. I don't know what else. But right now, I'm cutting my onions and my peppers. But, um, see? But, um, anyway, what was I saying? Uh, a lot of people out here are, um, out here on people teams and pulling for them hard, like pulling for them hard and defending them hard. And I mean, like people that you never met in real life, people that you didn't grow up with, you don't work with. I mean, technically, we're, you know, working for YouTube, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, you didn't go to church with them. Your mamas weren't friends, but they be going hard in these YouTube streets for people that they never met in person. And then when that person decides that they don't like another YouTuber, what they what they followers do some of them don't have their own mind. So what they do, <laughs> they be beefing with people who they don't even know. Like, you subscribe to certain people and them certain people get into it with somebody else. And so now you into it with them because the person you follow is into it with that other person. It's not fair for one, because I've never been the person to be like, oh, I'm cool with this chick, I'm cool with this chick, but because they have an issue with that chick, you're not going to tell me who I can be friends with. Like when you're friends with two people, I see it on YouTube all the time, you're friends with two people and they fall out, and then they trying to pull you on each end, it's a tug of war. Who you going to support? You support yourself. If somebody's upset because you support a particular YouTube person, that's, that's a control issue. You ain't going to deal with that in real life, are you? So why do you deal with it on YouTube? The stuff I see out here is ridiculous. Like ridiculous. Ridiculous. And I see why, I see why there are petitions going around. Um, Sean, um, 
Sa sa. Oh, let me get a drink. Um, Sean Bradley. Sorry, I had a loss of words there. It was on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Sean Bradley. He has started a petition, and it's basically against YouTube bullying. And a lot of people have signed it. Um, the last I checked, it was on its way to 3,000 people who have signed the petition so far. And I read the petition, and I think it's a pretty good petition. Um, there, there's a particular YouTuber who, um, I guess, as you can say, uh, forced his hand to start the petition. And I'm not saying that that particular YouTuber is the only reason we should have this petition because there's a lot of people out here on these YouTube streets who be bullying people. Like, really bullying people. Like, stuff you don't do in real life. Like, you don't be at work talking about everybody, calling them names, stalking them, talking about their kids, talking about their mamas. I mean... The stuff that I see on YouTube, again, is ridiculous. I, I don't know how to... I don't even know how to take it. Like, I seen another video this morning with Lockhead. I like Lockhead. Lockhead. L-O-C-H-E-A-D. Lockhead Boss Lady. I like her. Um... She's a good YouTuber. She 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 ain't about all that drama. I love YouTubers who are not all about the drama. I understand sometimes you have to hit on certain things on your YouTube channel, especially if it's in defense to somebody who's harassing you or bullying you. I get that. I get that. I just don't like following people who are just always in the drama, like like as if you have no other content. You have no other content, nothing else to talk about. It's always the drama, drama, drama. That's all you talk about all day long. It gets so <sighs> redundant. I don't even know. It's just, <laughs> it, it gets to be too much. It really gets to be too much. And... I try to stay away. I try to stay clear from the drama. It's really hard, though. It's really hard to not dive headfirst in and turn your channel into a drama channel as well. And again, you can't tell people what to talk about on their videos. <laughs> in the words of Brother Jay, on their videos. <laughs> but... I see why people is just so fed up and so tired in signing this petition. Sweet Ma, y'all know what happened with Sweet Ma. Sweet Ma, she has um basically been keeping us up to date with everything Tasha K for months, for months and months and months and months. A lot of y'all know who Tasha K is. A lot of y'all don't like Tasha K. Some of y'all do like Tasha K. I don't follow Tasha K. I used to. I used to. But I, I, for my own personal reasons, I had to let that go. Unsubscribe. That's all you have to do when you don't like anybody. If you don't care for somebody, unsubscribe. Just unsubscribe. Like Sean Bradley said this morning, why do so many of people on YouTube keep following people that they claim they don't like? You claim you don't like them, but you keep following them and you keep supporting them. I only follow people I like. And I follow a lot of people. Hey, Miss Lady Scoop. I follow a lot of people. I don't even know how many. I couldn't even tell you how many people I follow. And some people, they have nothing to do with 
anything we deal with day to day in these YouTube streets. Some people I follow, they are musicians, um, cooks, bakers, cake, cake decorators, cake designers like me, myself. I follow a lot of people who design um, custom design cakes because that's what I do. So I, I follow, you know, a, a lot of different stuff. You know, it's, it's not all about, uh, it's not, what did, who, who was that? Michelle? I think that was Michelle. Michelle A.T. Alien. I think she said about a week ago, um, sometimes you just, this is what she said. I haven't done it yet, but this is what Michelle recommended to people who's getting tired of all the YouTube beefs, all the drama, um, the people harassing you, calling your jobs, trying to talk to your kids behind your back. I mean, um, yeah, Miss Lady Scoop, I follow a lot of people too. And, you know, if, if I figure they, they all about just too much BS, I'll let them go. I let them go. No harm done. I'm sure they don't care. I don't care. You know, ain't no need to explain. Ain't no need to, um, when I unfollow people, I don't announce that I unfollow them. I just, you know, unless it's just in conversation, I just don't be like, oh, I unsubscribe to this person. Just want to let y'all know. No, it, it, it might be in conversation. Like we was just talking about Sweet Ma and Tasha K and, Sean Bradley and, you know, his petition and stuff. Yeah, I said I don't follow Tasha K anymore. But I didn't, like, uh, make a big announcement about it. And and if, if that's what you choose to do, that's what you choose to do. This is just me. Remember, I'm Team Tanya. We should all be our own team. We should all be our own team. This YouTube stuff, it's like, I wouldn't even say high school Drama, I would say junior high, middle school. The stuff I see on here is like middle school drama. I didn't see that much drama in middle school. And these are grown people that we are watching destroying other people's lives and ruining other people's lives and harassing and bullying other people. These is grown as people like in their 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s. <laughs> oh, it is appalling. It is so appalling that you have nothing better to do than harass people and try to ruin other people's lives. It's, it's, it's so appalling and it's sad. It's so very sad. Like, how do some people sleep at night? See, y'all don't see. I done, I done started on Tracy and, and jumped all over the place. But okay, let me jump back to where I where I began. Okay. When I started the live, I was like, poor, poor Treacy, because again, I remember what Treacy used to do on other people's channels, and, and I see what Treacy does now. Um and Treacy is just like a beef watcher to me. Like, uh, what's that one guy? The one gay guy. Y'all, y'all probably know who I'm talking about. He's gay, at least I believe. I believe he's gay. If I'm wrong, I apologize, but I think he's gay, and he's a beef watcher. All he does is just say what happened on other people's channels, and I think that's more like what Tracy does. She just says what happened on other people's channel, but because of her past, a lot of people just really, really cannot stand her. Um, the other day, Tracy was watching, um, oh God, her, her, what's her name? Oh my God, TSCC. Okay. Yeah. She was watching her and she had said something about, she was announcing like who all was following her because she don't want people following her or, uh, supporting her in silence. So she had her phone up to the computer, TSCC, and she was showing that people who's following her, reading their names off and everything. And she read something about Nate Rob. Nate Rob was like, had, had sent her a message or something saying, I'm not TSCC. I'm not team. I'm not team TSCC. But, but I admire your strength. 
That's what she said. And I guess um, uh, Tracy saw that or heard it or whatever. And she decided to talk about it on her page because that's what Tracy does. She's a beef watcher. She's a... All she do is give you the news on other people's channels. That's what, that's what Tracy does. Sometimes she does celebrity uh, commentary. Um, but most of the time, it's, it's, it's about other people on YouTube. And I guess Nay Rob, uh, once she said that, Tracy didn't understand. And she's just thinking, well, since you're uh, subscribed to her, that must mean you want to be controlled. And I get where Nay was coming from. Like, and I don't know these pe these women personally. I get where Nay was coming from. Um, yeah, me too, Lady Scoop. If I don't like what I'm hearing <laughs> from people, or if it's the same, same, same BS and just... Uh, just mess. I, I, I subscribe. I, all you got to do is click. Click, click that button. It takes one second to click that unsubscribe button. And just unfollow people you don't want to support any any further. Um, but a lot of people uh, support people, but it's not necessarily because they are team... I don't know, I'm going to just throw names out there. Team Sean or Team Michelle or Team Tanya. I'll put me in there. Or Team Lockhead or Team Gina. It, it's not like you have to... Okay, because when I say team, when I say team, I mean if somebody says something about a particular person, you all over them, like cussing them out. I mean, like you defending him like they your best friend. And if they don't like somebody, then you don't like somebody. You know what I mean? Um, and they already think TS is a is a, a cult. Like there's a cult going on over there. I don't know if that's true. If it's really a cult or not, she did. Um, uh, she did respond to that by creating another channel that ends with the word cult. I don't know if that was as in a humorous thing because everybody's calling her a cult or if it's real and that she truly is a cult. Like, like <laughs> nature boy. <laughs> nature boy, which is something we're going to have to talk about again one day. But that he's a mess. He's a hot mess. But um, so Nay Rob got on uh, YouTube this morning and she dragged Tracy. I was like, oh, whoa, is me. Whoa, is me. Whoa, Lord. <laughs> whoa, is me. But I, I get where she was coming from. Just because you subscribe to somebody, don't necessarily. Now, some people subscribe to people and they don't necessarily agree with everything they say. But they drawn to the drama. Like, a lot of us sometimes are just drawn to the drama. Even if you're not a subscriber, but you're still watching, and you're watching their every move, their every upload, their every live video. I mean, you watching it all. They getting those watch hours from you. You are basically supporting them. You can't watch anybody on YouTube without supporting them with your watch hours. That doesn't mean that you are their team or whatever. You just... You, it's so many people who, 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 act, who support other channels without even meaning to support. But they don't get it. They don't get it. <laughs> Once people are over a thousand subscribers... And once they reach their 4,000 hours on YouTube, and once they start getting monetized, it don't matter if you subscribed or not. It's those views that helps make them money. And so if you're sitting there watching a two, three hour video for somebody that you claim you don't like, you still supporting them one way or the other. You still putting food in their mouth. You still helping paying their bills or putting gas money in their car. I know it's not a whole lot you can make from YouTube unless you got 
like hundreds and hundreds and thousands of followers and or you receive hundreds and hundreds and millions of views on your videos. So I know most of the time it's just chump change, but you're still supporting them. You're still supporting them. So I don't know what y'all think about all that, but I know a lot of people is defending Tracy this morning. And a lot of people's like, that's what she get. That's what she get. Tracy always in some mess. Tracy always messy. Messy Tracy. I don't think she's as messy as she used to be. And she does keep us updated on a lot of information. I mean, a lot of stuff that's going down on YouTube. But y'all let me know what y'all think about... Um, about this whole situation, they rob, uh, Tracy, Sean Bradley, TSCC. I gotta put my vegetables in my uh, hold on one second, hold on one second. Okay, got my beef on, my ground beef on, but y'all, again, let me know how y'all feel about what's going on in these YouTube streets, about the bees, the petition, have you signed the petition? Are you in agreement with the petition? Hmm? Let me see if I can find a petition real quick. Real quick. Let me see. Okay. Pulling up YouTube on my uh, computer. Sean Bradley. Because the thing is, regardless if you like TSCC or not, regardless if you like her or not, Regardless if you think she's a bully or not, um, the thing is, oh, I can't type, I can't spell. Okay, here we go. The thing is, even if you think she's uh, not a bully, you think she's not, if you think she's doing nothing wrong, what about the people who you actually believe are, uh, doing something wrong on YouTube because the petition is hold on I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it to you real quick this hold on I'm gonna show you the petition real quick Okay, I must just scroll through here so you can see it. Okay, here's the petition. That, let's see how many people don't sign. Yep, I was right. It's almost at 3,000. 
And it says, YouTube, make it easier to report stalking, harassment, slander, and terroristic threats. And if you did want to sign the petition, you can sign it anonymously or you can use your name. If you don't care that people see that you signed or, you know, that it shows your name, you can show your name. But if not, see the little check mark down here? At the bottom, let me go down a little. Where it says sign the petition, there's a little check mark that says display my name and comment on this petition. So if you don't want it to display your name, then of course you can just, you know, unclick the box. But um, the petition starts off with, with this petition, we respectfully request an investigation into what appears to be a severe case of terroristic threats, slander, defamation, harassment, doxing, and cyberbullying. The offender, Susie Cordell, uses her sizable YouTube platform to threaten other content creators, incite public fear, and maliciously damage the employment, personal lives, and safety of others by spreading false and dangerous rhetoric. Ms. Cordell operates channels VS Conscious TV 2.0, TSCC 0, TSCC 02, TSCC 03, and YouTube Beast, respectfully. Now the rest you can um, you can uh, read for yourself, <clears throat> but it's under Sean Bradley's uh, channel. If you go to Sean Bradley's channel and you go through his videos and look for the one that says "sign the petition," then uh, oh, I went down too fast. And you go to the one that says "sign the petition," then the petition will pop up. Where you can sign, where you can read all this right here that I'm showing you. And they basically want Google and law enforcement authorities to conduct a full investigation into these allegations and activity. Unethical, malicious, dangerous activities of Susan Cordon is causing irreparable damage to innocent children, family, and friends. If you agree with this petition and you want Google um, to look into this matter, then you can sign a petition. It's almost up to 3,000 people. And a lot of people agree with the petition. Obviously, it's up to 3,000 people so far. So that's what the petition is about for all those who might be in the dark about that and haven't heard about a petition. But you said you're coming for dinner. <laughs> come on, come on through. <laughs> come on through. So sure, I'm cooking. I work like two jobs. You know, I make uh, custom cakes for people. Cakes, cupcakes. Like I just got a wedding order. This was this my third wedding order. For this year, and I just got my third wedding order. Um, sometime I think it's sometime in September. I got one in July. I got one in August, and one in September. So they kind of like back to back to back. But you know, I stay pretty busy. So sometimes I'm not always able to cook three, four square meal dinners every day because of my jobs and whatnot. My kids understand. So when I do cook, I make sure I cook enough to stretch a few days and they get it after a few days if they done eating leftovers they throw that stuff away and now <laughs> we'll start all over <laughs> but yeah so i always make enough just just for in case company comes over or whatnot but yeah so y'all if again as far as the petition if y'all down with the petition if y'all agree with the petition feel free to sign the petition you can sign anonymously again or you can put your name on there again. But a lot of this stuff in the YouTube streets has got to stop. It has got to stop. Um, Sweet Ma. Did y'all see Sweet Ma's video this morning? For those of you guys who like Sweet Ma, of course. I like Sweet Ma. 
Um, she's the one who made the TKO video about Tasha K. She's been following Tasha K for months and giving us the lowdown on Tasha K. Um, Sweet Ma calls herself well schooled, well read in narcissism. And so she claims Tasha K is a narc. And that's why Tasha K acts the way she does a lot of the time. Um, again, I'm, I don't really follow Tasha K. If I hear something like, oh, did y'all see that video or whatever, whatever, I'll go check it out, see what everybody's talking about. But Tasha K, she has in the past made a lot of claims that weren't necessarily true as far as stories that she has um, done commentary on. So after seeing that over and over and over again and seeing her drag people left and right just to be dragging, just to be, I mean, I don't know if she tries to purposely ruin people's life or if she just does that for the money, for the followers, for the subscribers. I don't know. But, you know, I... I don't follow her on a regular basis. But, 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 Sweet Ma was. <laughs> Sweet Ma was. And she would make video after video after video about what Tasha K has done, said, or did. Um, and then finally, I guess she was like, you know what, you guys? I've commentated on Tasha K for so long. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do one last video, and it's called Tasha K TKO. And we have been waiting on that video for a very long time. And at one point, she had even said, I'm not going to do the video. I'm just tired of Tasha K. I'm just going to leave it alone. And everybody kept like, no, 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 no. We need the TKO. We want to see what you, what you got together. You know, put the video out there. And she did. She finally put the TKO video out. And it was a couple of weeks back. And after that, I guess she alleges that Tasha K had got very upset um, and put like her personal information out there. I don't know if it was her address or phone number. I, I can't remember. But Sweet Ma has basically been sitting low for like a few weeks. And a lot of people have been worried about you know, Tasha K. I mean, not Tasha K. Uh, Sweet Ma. And Sweet Ma came live this morning. And I'm telling you, it was probably the best video that's for I've seen this week. Because I really like Sweet Ma. And she, Sweet Ma was really hurt. And it's like a lot of people don't like Sweet Ma. Because they think she was literally stalking and harassing Tasha K by making all those videos about her. But I, I, I get where Sweet Mom was coming from. A lot of people do. A lot of people do. It's like when you do commentary out here in these YouTube streets, you can't just be just putting any kind of story out there just for a dollar. Just for a dollar. Miss Lady Scoop, I just can't go on here on YouTube tomorrow. Miss Lady Scoop's husband, he done slept with five, ten women from their church. Just because I heard it from somebody else, like, <laughs> I mean, what, what that looked like, what that sound like, y'all, if that was okay, if that was okay, everybody on YouTube would be doing that. Everybody on YouTube would be doing that. So, I mean, you have to have receipts. And that's the whole reason why a lot of people don't like Tasha K, because some of her receipts... We're not, we're not, uh, real receipts. And some people like her just because she's just so out there. She's just so, um, so over the top. So, um, some people are just, I think they're just addicted to the mess. Just to be honest, I think they're addicted to the mess. But, you know, I felt bad for, uh, sweet mom when she came, her and Deb, you know, her good friend Deb, uh, who had did the TKO video with her. They came live this morning just to let everybody know she's okay. She's keeping her head up, you know, and we're just going to move on from there. But 
you know, it is, it is what it is. It is, it is what it is. Um, back to Tracy, though. I do follow Tracy. I am subscribed to Tracy. Um, I like watching her videos because, again, she does keep us updated on a lot of stuff. Um, and it's usually not just her throwing information out there. She's usually getting it from other people's videos. And so I like Tracy. Um, not, not trying to say that you guys should like her because I like her, but because that's the whole thing. That's my whole message in this video. You don't have to be team anybody on YouTube. You should be team yourself. It should be all about the home team. All about this. What you got at home in your own world. Your children, your husband, your wife, your job, your school, your neighborhood, your church. That's whose team you should be on. Not somebody that you only see on YouTube a couple of minutes a day. It's okay to follow and support people, but when you start doing outlandish crap behind a particular person just because they told you to, look up this person, find out where they were, send this, see if we can get this person on the phone to talk about what they used to do back in their day. That's just a bit much. That's just a bit much. Thus, the petition. Thus, the petition. But you guys, um, again, let me know what y'all think about the... Uh, Petition. Hold on, let me stir my little my little mixture up here. Oh, it smells so good too. It smells oh so good. After this, I'm gonna throw this chicken and the grease. Turn my little grease on. Get that grease hot. But um yeah, you said uh you said wild lady scoop. <laughs> but uh yeah, so y'all let me know what y'all think about all these beasts in these YouTube streets. Um and again, let me know if y'all agree with the petition or whatnot um what do y'all think about all these people running around here talking about i'm team this i'm team that i'm team this and the thing about it is once you be on somebody's team and it's it's all about them and you running around doing stuff that they want you to do and all this that's what i call controlling just because you subscribe to somebody's channel does not mean you're necessarily trying to be controlled it just means a lot of people just like to follow the mess a lot of people just like to follow the mess they like to see and especially the situation that's going on with sean and tscc it's like people are waiting to see how the end is going to turn out that's why a lot of people are watching them too some people who don't even like tscc they're watching her videos. They're following her because they want to see where it's all going to end. That's what I think. That's what I think. Y'all let me know if y'all believe something else. It's not necessarily because they are uh, mentally supported, you know. They might be supporting them by numbers, but it's not like their, you know, intentions are, I'm, I want to support this person. That's why I'm here. It's because they, they want to see how it's all going to play out. And I want to see how it's all going to play out. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I want to see how it's all going to play out. I know Sean went to court. I know he applied for his uh, restraining order. And I know he has to go back to court. Um, I, I'm just seeing how it's all going to play out. Because I really want to know if, if it's possible to... Be on YouTube and control you and keep people from harassing you 
I want to see if it's possible because it really doesn't seem like YouTube does a lot. I mean, YouTube might take down videos if somebody flags a video, but the whole petition is because enough is not being done. Enough is not being done. And I want to see this all the way through because if people are really out here harassing you and threatening you and make terroristic threats on YouTube, maybe by them seeing by them seeing this play out and we don't know yet who who's going to if it's going to be TSCC if it's going to be Sean we don't know whose favor is all going to lay in what side is all going to turn out you know the favor but we need to know we need to know because if it's in Sean's favor that sends a message throughout these YouTube streets you cannot keep doing this. And if you do keep doing this, and I'm not just saying her, I'm uh, and people in general, if there's people out here harassing, making terrorist threats, stalking you, your job, your friends, your family, putting your personal information up on YouTube for everybody to see, um, it will definitely send a message out to other people like, this is not cool. Even though we should know we should know we are grown, grown people. We should know already up there what we should and should not do and how we should and should not act. We should know. <laughs> we should know. But anyway, so I want to see just like a lot of people how this is going to play out. Just because you subscribe to a particular person or you follow them doesn't necessarily mean that you're supporting them. Sometimes you just want to see how it's going to play out and see, you know, how it's going to end. And sometimes you just, some people is just, you know, addicted to the, <laughs> addicted to the drama, addicted to the mess. <laughs> But anyway, y'all, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Um, hit me up in the comment section after I get off this live video. I'm going to go check out some other videos on these YouTube streets. I'm off this weekend. Only had one uh, cake order this morning that I already finished. I started on that last night and finished it this morning. And I showed y'all the picture um, earlier in my live video of the cake that I did. But um, yeah, so anyway, anyway. I'm about to be up out of here. So I hope everybody has a blessed day. Um, it's still kind of cold here where I'm at, but uh, I think it got up to 33 degrees. I actually stepped out a little bit ago and took my car to the car wash so it can be ready for church tomorrow. You know, your car got to be ready for church. Not just you, but your car got to be ready for church. <laughs> Church ready. <laughs> All shiny and clean and stuff. And it's been so cold here. Car washes have been closed because it's been too cold to wash cars. So anyway, I took my car, got it washed and cleaned up this morning. So um, you guys have a blessed weekend, a blessed Saturday. Um, thank you, sweetie. Thank you, Miss Lady School. You have a blessed weekend as well. And in the meantime and in between time, prime time squad, stay safe, be blessed, and I'm out. Peace.